Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video which is a new concept that I actually came up with on my own. Basically I came back from work, I sat down on my desk and I realized I'm out of video ideas. And as I was thinking of some ideas, a memory came into my brain. A dark, dark memory from the past. That memory being getting scammed on Fiverr as a coach. So yeah, buckle up for this one. It's, it's gonna get steamy up in here. But before I start, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, like this video if you enjoyed, and comment down below what you thought of it. Also, make sure to use Oaken YT in Fortnite and Rocket League item shop. It will help me out a lot. And yeah, let's just get right into it. So, it was about two and a half years ago. I had a job. I was kind of doing YouTube on the Side, but not really and I was like shit I need like a side gig to earn some more money and for some reason my head just diverted to Fiverr so as most of you probably know Fiverr is a website where you can just buy services from people and you know they range from like giving you tips and advice on a certain game to helping you fucking cook a meal or something and I was like damn I'm really good at Rocket League. For some context, at the time I was better than I am now. So then I was like, shit, maybe I should become a coach, you know? So I was like, yeah, let's just go. I need some I need some more money. So I was like, yep, yeah, this is brilliant. This is a brilliant idea. So I go into Fiverr, I make my account and I make my first ad. Now, you know, the ad was pretty straightforward. The, the title was, I will help you learn a new skill in Rocket League. And I've had like a few photos added. I had like a video, but I can't see it anymore. I had like a pretty nice description. I, I said that I had over 4,000 hours. I was 1850 MMR, which which is like SSL. I'm not currently SSL, I'm like a solid 1600, but back then I was actually pretty good. And you know, I was just offering to do some replay analysis and just you know, if they had like a new skill they wanted to learn, I would just help them and give them tips on how to do that. I had three different options for my service, basic, standard and premium, which was basically just longer sessions the more you pay. So for the basic one, it was 30 minutes, standard 60 minutes and premium 90 minutes. So yeah, there it was. I posted it and I just had to wait for the customers to line up and ask for my service. And what actually happened was it was... A full month of crickets. Actual crickets. I would have gotten more money if I fucking sold my body on the street. But then, after a month of patiently waiting, a customer has made a purchase on the basic course. And I was so happy. It was $5, but I was over the fucking moon. I was like, holy shit. So yeah, as soon as I saw this shit, I, I'm pretty sure I was in work. I saw it as soon as I came back. I texted this guy on Discord because he gave me his Discord in like the description of the purchase. So I texted him on Discord. I said, hey, want to do this now? He said, sure, call whenever. And one minute later, I called him. I don't really remember like the full conversation. I don't really have any recordings of it. Uh, but from what I recall, he just wanted to get overall better at the game. I'm pretty sure he was like a plat or a diamond. So I gave him some basic advice. He especially wanted to improve his skill in 1v1s. So I recommended him like a scrub killer tutorial on kickoffs because most of you might not believe when I say this, but kickoffs are not mostly luck. There is a good way to do a kickoff and I thought the scrub killer tutorial was very precise and very like educational. So I told him to watch it in his spare time to learn. But during this session, um, we basically reviewed his replays. I, I told him what he was doing wrong, what he was doing right. And I felt like it was a really good session. I, you know, for my first coaching session as a coach, I felt like I did pretty well. Then at the end, uh, I sent him a few codes of maps to train on. There was like different aerial trainings uh, and defending training and stuff like that. And yeah, I, I actually was coaching him for over an hour, even though he bought the 30 minute service. We sort of was vibing, right? We, we were like communicating well. We were kind of building a friendship in, in, in a certain way. And about from what I recall, 50 minutes into his um, training, um, I asked him what what persuaded you to buy my service. You know, I wanted to know. And he was like, well, I saw you had no order, so I just wanted to help out, you know, get you on your feet. And I was like, wow, I really appreciate that, man. And I was like, yeah, I, you know, I know the grind. I have, I'm trying to build a business of my own. I was like, oh, really? And he was like, yeah, I'm trying to do like a merch line, uh, sell some clothes, you know. And, and, you know, I was interested, you know, he helped me. I thought I'd help him out. I was like, yo, do you have like a website or anything I can check you out? And he was like, yeah, I do. And then he sent me a link to his website. Now, the website is currently down because it was a fucking scam. But the merch that he showed me on his website that was working at the time was actually fire. Like, it was actually sick. 
I, I was like impressed and I was like damn bro like those those clothes are pretty nice and he was like yeah I've been working on some designs you know me and my friend actually like um make these ourselves uh, and we we do all the designing and shit he was just like yeah I'm just trying to, it as a hustle you know see how it works and I was like you know what since you helped me I'll help you. And oh boy, that was the worst idea I've ever fucking came up with. Just to put it into perspective, a t-shirt on that website was like 40 pounds, 40 British pounds, which is about $50. But I was like, wow, that's kind of expensive for a t-shirt. And he was like, yeah, but they're like 100% cotton. They're really high quality. You know, I'm trying to just make a high quality brand. I was like, oh, wow. Well, in that case, yeah, I, I understand. And he was like, hey, man, if you if you buy two t-shirts, I'll give you a discount code. And I was like, wow, okay, great. So I put two t-shirts into my basket. Uh, the delivery fee was like 20 pounds, which is around $25 because it was overseas. So I, I'm pretty sure I paid around 70 pounds. 70 GBPs, bro. Do you know how much money that is? That is the, at the time I was getting like six pounds 50 an hour. Bro, that, let me just do the maths real quick. That is the equivalent of me working almost 11 hours. Almost 11 hours of sheer hard work to buy those t-shirts just to help out some random dude that I just met. I don't know how gullible I was back then. I must have been so fucking dumb because nowadays I would have obviously never fallen for it. But back then I was just like, dude, th this guy's helping me out. Like I have to help him out back, you know? So I bought those t-shirts and then, you know, we ended the call. That was it. That was his training done. He left me a five star review with a really nice comment. And yeah, you know, I was over the moon. I had a, my first customer and I helped out a, a business. And then after that, a month went by. I still didn't receive the t-shirts. Uh, they they were just not on their way. I didn't even receive any updates through like email or anything. Didn't get any more customers on Fiverr. I'm pretty sure after like a month and a half, I closed my ad because I was like, well, this is pointless. I, I'm not getting any traffic. And after two months, I am pretty sure I reached out to him again. I don't have the messages because it wasn't on Discord. I'm pretty sure he gave me like his Facebook or something. But I, I reached out to him and I was like, yo, like, hey, it's me. Like we we did some coaching and I bought those T-shirts off of you. Do you know if they're, they're going to come any, anytime soon? Like, uh, are they coming? Uh, and he never replied. And then I realized, yep, I lost 70 pounds. And those 70 pounds were very valuable at the time. So yeah, I, I couldn't believe that how fucking scammed I got. Like, I've never actually gotten like properly scammed. I guess maybe in crypto, like I put into, I put in some money into a shit coin that was just a rug pull. But I don't know, that's like a scam, but like that's on me, you know, that I just... It's just, you're, you're fucking stupid. Like, why are you putting into putting money into shit coins? But with this one, I was just g genuinely like good hearted, trying to help out a small business. So in the end, I paid him 14 times more than he paid me. And yeah, that taught me not to be nice to people like ever. So since then, I've just been a complete fucking dickhead to everyone I saw. Now, I'm obviously joking, but it definitely was a lesson learned. Like, just don't give your money to strangers for no fucking reason. And hopefully you can learn something from this as well. But yeah, that's the end of this sad story. You know, my heart was in the right place, but I guess my brain wasn't. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this story time kind of video. Let me know if you want more of these. I do have some pretty fire stories from like my childhood days. And yeah, let me know if you'd like to hear them. Uh, again, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below and join our Discord. I forgot to mention that. The link to the Discord server is in the description. And yeah, peace.